my channel today i have for you this a valentine's look using only a drugstore products so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and yeah if you guys want to see how i achieve this aw uh, drugstore valentine's look then keep on watching Okay, loves, so uh, let's get started with this makeup tutorial. So all the products I'm going to be using today are drugstore. So this is going to be a very affordable Valentine's look. I wanted to do an affordable one because I also did another one like a few weeks ago. And it was, it used affordable products, but you know, most of them were high end. But I wanted to do all drugstore because I love a drugstore products. So I already primed my face. I used the L'Oreal Infallible Hydrating Illuminating Primer. And then now I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay Foundation. I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's just such a good foundation and full coverage. Like if you're looking for a good full coverage, definitely recommend this one because it's so good. So I'm going to put that on my face now and I'm just going to blend it out with my Real Technique um expert brush i think it's called yeah the expert face brush i'm obsessed with this brush like i love to use this for foundation because it's just so good so i already apply some on my thing here on my tray because i'm i don't like to do it on my hand because then i always forget to like wipe it off so <laughs> i rather just put it on a little tray and then just blend it out from there so I'm obsessed with this brush like I used to use a sponge for like all my foundations like that was just like my go-to thing like it was just my favorite like that was just my obsession was the sponge sponge for everything and then I started using this brush and I'm like obsessed like I cannot put it down because it just blends out the foundation so beautiful and it just gives me like a better coverage so I definitely love this if you guys seen my January favorites I did mention this brush because it's just that good I have to tell you guys about it because I mean if you're like a sponge girl like I was like it's hard to get off the sponge and use like a brush because I used to never love brushes because I didn't like the way they covered but the problem with me was that I was using the wrong brush so when I found this brush and saw like how good it blended out my foundation I was like what i'm like <laughs> now i really don't want to use the sponge because the brush is just so good like it just blends out like a dream like i am obsessed with it for a while and then we're gonna move on to the eyes so i'm gonna apply some concealer on my eyes i'm gonna be using the ulta beauty full coverage concealer and i'm just gonna apply a little bit on here i'm actually running out i need to get some more because this this has been like my go-to like concealer and i'm just gonna use an elf brush this is an elf yeah an elf brush and just blend it out but yeah that has been my obsession that concealer and like i'm already running low like it's only seven bucks i've been wanting to try out the makeup revolution concealer i've been seeing so many videos about it and i like makeup revolution they have such good products so I'm like super excited to try that out. Okay guys, so next we're gonna go into the NYX Ultimate Palette and this is their Sugar High Palette. And I'm gonna grab this shade right here to set my eyes because I want to set that concealer down. And for today, I'm gonna be using some shadows from this palette and also another palette from Wet n Wild that I picked up the other day. I thought it was so cute. Because I was like, oh my god, this can be like a Valentine's look palette. So I picked it up. It was super cheap. It was like $3. Like, come on. Wet n Wild is like one of my favorite drugstore brands. Because their products are so good and so affordable. Like, you cannot go wrong with Wet n Wild. Next palette I have is this one from Wet n Wild. Like I said, this is their Sweet as Candy palette. And I thought it was just so beautiful for three dollars i was like i could definitely do a look with this palette so i'm definitely gonna do that today so what's cool about this palette is that 
on each like shadow it has a name on it like what to what to do with it so basically transition brow bone crease and eyelid i thought that was so cool so i'm gonna take the brow bone shade and i'm just gonna apply it on the brow bone right now just to give it that highlight right now and i've been doing this lately so i can have like a like place that i know that i don't want to bring the eyeshadow that high because the brow bone highlight is there so basically that is what i do now to help me not bring the eyeshadow so high up i just apply the brow bone and now so i don't bring the eyeshadow so high <laughs> so next we're gonna go in with a let's pick up a shade here or a brush i'm sorry so i'm going to pick up the morphe e27 brush and i'm going to i know some of my brushes are like high-end and drugstore but morphe is uh affordable so i'm gonna use it so i'm gonna use this transition shade right here and i'm just gonna apply that on the eyes let's see how good because i mean wet and wild palettes are so good and I don't think this is going to be bad. I hope not. But I think it's blending out pretty good. So next I'm going to go into my NYX Ultimate Palette. And I'm going to grab this purple shade right here. This is such a beautiful like dark purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna use this as a... Um, right here, the outer corner shade and i'm just gonna do like a halo eye so i'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better what i'm doing so i'm just gonna build it up here and then just see where it goes so i'm just gonna build it up Wrap a little bit more and i'm just gonna put it right here Just so I can create the halo effect and then just blend everything. And then I'm going to go back into the E27 brush. There's no more product on it, so I'm just going to take it just to blend out the edges. Go in with the Wet n Wild palette, and I'm gonna take this pretty pink shade, and I'm just gonna apply that in the center of the eyelid where I left a little bit of the gap. So let's see how pigmented this is. It is really pretty. So I'm going to go in with the NYX palette and I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to clean out whatever I had there and just pick this up. This one's more of like a shimmery, glittery type of shadow. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. Mm. On to concealer, I'm going to be using the Alto Beauty Concealer. And I got the shade Medium Warm, if anyone wanted to know. I usually leave everything down below so you guys can know the exact name of the products and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to use this. And then just blend it out with my Equal Tool sponge like my go-to sponge like i love this sponge i also have the gray one i still haven't used it because i'm like it looks so pretty like i don't want to use it but i definitely want to use it um give it some give this one a break basically because i use this one a lot like for all my makeup tutorials and like my everyday use like this is the sponge that i like to use like i don't even look back at my beauty blender even though i love my beauty blender like that was like my first sponge ever was the beauty blender and then now like all these companies coming out with like new sponges and oh my god it's like it's hard to like 
stick to one but i definitely love the beauty blender i'm gonna go in with powder i'm gonna be using the la girl pro powder and banana this is like my favorite if you guys been watching me for a while like i use this powder a lot so i'm just gonna apply some on the lid i'm gonna make sure i have no creases under the eyes and just set my under eyes what in the world is that okay something red just popped out of my face i was like what? <laughs> but this is like one of my favorite powders like oh my goodness guys if you haven't tried this powder what are you waiting for like this is just my favorite powder I'm just going to use the purple shade. I'm just going to smoke that out under the eyes because why not? It's already a smoky look, so why not just use that? So I'm just going to use this to smoke out the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to go and apply my mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and the NYX Eyeliner. And my lashes, I'm using the Kiss Lashes in the style Shy. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be right back to finish up the rest of my face. Okay, love, so I'm back. So first I'm going to go in with my LA Girl um, Powder because I'm going to use my bronzer. And I want to make it sure that it's like very like precise. So I'm just going to take some of this powder and just apply it here so when i sweep away this it's gonna be like more chiseled and more like clean basically <laughs> so let's get started with the bronzer i'm gonna be using the neutrogena bronzer in the shade number 30 if you're an og been following me for a very long time you know like this is like my go-to bronzer i have not found another bronzer that i love this much that i can just like switch over so i'm gonna apply this to my cheeks and just bronze up the skin the maybelline fit me blush and this is in this shade rose rose claire something like that i think that's the name so i'm gonna use this one and i'm just gonna apply this to my cheeks this is such a beautiful blush definitely recommend it it's number 30 i think it's rose number 30 it's very beautiful so next i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild highlight and this is in the shade okay the name is in the front golden flower crown so i'm gonna use this and highlight my face guys can you guys see my highlight because i feel like this thing is clammy right now like i cannot see it use my Maybelline Super State Matte Ink and this is in the shade Loyalist. Very pretty pink shade. Pink mauve shade actually. So I'm going to apply that and then I'm also going to mix it in with a little bit of this Wet n Wild. This is their new metallic lipstick and this is in the shade Satin Sheets. I saw this shade I was like this is so beautiful. I definitely want to try it out. So I'm going to use this first, the Maybelline Superstay. I'm going to top it a little bit with this metallic lip from Wet n Wild. Because I feel like it's going to look so cute. Especially with the eyes. Like I feel like it's going to be beautiful. So I'm just going to apply it right in the middle.
okay love so i am completely done what do you guys think let me know down below in the comment section i definitely had fun creating this look for you guys i hardly ever use dark colors but i definitely love the look so let me know down below what you guys think i hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video bye loves